2001. It is five feet long. Um, we don't get Yamahas much smaller than this. I think they might have existed in small quantities, but this is about the smallest Yamaha Baby Grand that you can reasonably expect to come across anywhere or in our inventory. Um, and Baby Grands, of course, don't quite have as much power as a larger grand piano. However, the advantage, or even a full-size upright, but the advantage of this piano is the grand action. Um, if you need a grand piano and are really short on space, and if, especially if you need the responsiveness of a grand piano, I think we'll be quite pleased with this. I certainly was. Um, even though a full-size upright might have a deeper sound, admittedly, than this shortest of Yamaha brands, um, there are some pianists, especially if they're getting into the more advanced stages of uh, technical development in their piano lessons and their practice, an upright's just not going to cut it anymore. Um, the way the upright piano action is designed, it's, it's a compromise in order to suit the fact that the strings are vertical and the hammer has to go sideways. The design of a grand piano where the string is horizontal and the hammer moves up and down, gravity does have some role in assisting the reset of the hammer to a ready position sooner so that you don't have to lift the key quite all the way up to rest position uh, as tend to do on an upright. Now, great, as a technician, I see that Yamaha uprights are very thoughtfully designed, and in my opinion, they do better, along with Kawai. Kawai and Yamaha both have a more responsive upright action than many other brands of piano, in my opinion, but it's still not going to be as good as a grand piano action, particularly one by a good quality manufacturer like Yamaha itself. So I'm very pleased with the responsiveness of this action. It's very satisfying to play. Uh, and so I would therefore recommend it for those really advancing pianists, or maybe you're already a accomplished pianist, but you just, you have a minimum of space to work with in where you are situated, where you live. Yamaha Grands, we don't see them smaller than this. So highly recommended for that situation. Um, and I should say, it, it plays very satisfyingly. Um, I really enjoyed playing that. Um, for those who were wondering, because I know people ask, the first piece was Scarlatti uh, Sonata K113, and then the other piece was by Granados Fifth Spanish Dance. Um, those are both pieces with a lot of smoothly, small moving parts, this action handled it beautifully. It's been regulated very carefully by my colleagues, I would add, as we would do for any piano in our inventory. And every key just feels so smooth going up and down. There's no interruptions. It feels even with each other. There were no notes sticking out that sounded too loud or too soft. Um, and a lot of that, in my opinion, is the way Yamaha piano actions are designed. They're designed to be very friendly for technicians of service and have been for many decades now. Unlike, again, in my opinion, some other brands of piano. Although I would put Kawhi next to Yamaha in that regard. Um, but uh, very easy to service, very consistently made. All the parts are milled very precisely. So that when we go make our adjustments in the regulation of the action, that's a very complicated process too we get good results, it just cooperates. And this is yet another example of really good results on a piano. 
made in a Yamaha factory. It doesn't matter where in the world. We've gotten Yamahas made in the uh, United States, Indonesia, China. I know they had a factory, an old Kemble factory in England um, for a while. Uh, all produce very consistent results. Usually the ones that are not in Japan are made for the smaller pianos like this, whereas they save the big ones for their own Japanese factory. Um, but they, they, they really know, in my opinion, they do a really good job getting a great result wherever the piano is made. And this is yet another example here in Indonesia, or this piano being made in Indonesia. I'm very pleased with it. Um, Having said that, the tone, I'll rate a 5 on a scale from 1 to 10. It has the Yamaha clarity, but being from 2001, it does represent the tendency, I think, of more recent Yamahas to depart a bit from the very bright sound they used to be known for in the 70s. Um, it's still clear, and that is inherent in the design of the piano, most notably the strings, cast iron plate, bridges, soundboard, that's the scale design, and all those proportions determine the essential sound of the piano, independent of the hardness of the hammers, um, and it sounds like a Yamaha, so it has that wonderful, very clear sound, but it's not a very bright version of it, it's not mellow either, it's right in the middle, so five on a scale from one to ten is what this will be for the tone. Uh, touch, I think, <laughs> a little unusual for a Yamaha, it's on the firm side. Um, Although, I tend to notice this more on recently made Yamaha grain pianos. Um, slightly more than the average amount of resistance in the keys. And again, I, I think this is consistent with Yamaha departing from their older reputation of having a bright sound with light touch. Of course, every piano turns out differently, and we've gotten recent Yamahas that sound more bright and have a little bit of an easier touch than this, so we always ask that people if possible, stop by and play the piano for yourself and judge the piano individually. They all turn out different, even if they look similar. Um, this one, I think, has a slightly firm touch. I'll rate it a 6 on the scale from 1 to 10, from light to firm. But very satisfying to play. I really enjoyed it. And unexpectedly satisfying for a Baroque piece, such as the Domenico Scarlatti I mentioned. He was fluent, uh, flourished in the early 1700s, wrote for harpsichord, which had a very, very light action back in, in that time. Um, and so people would not normally play music of that time period. At least they wouldn't be as eager to play music from that time period on the firmer touch piano, but this piano really made it satisfying. Um, really enjoyable to play, I liked it a lot. So five and six for tone and touch. Um, the piano does have its original matching Duet bench, Yamaha benches have a pad on top, bordered by a wooden frame. And it opens up the store sheet music, and Yamaha benches are uh, very well constructed. This one's in very good condition. The piano evidently was not used a whole lot by its previous owner. Especially, we especially know that because if a bench survives with the piano, original to the piano, in good condition, usually the benches get worn out more quickly than the piano. And, well, the bench is not worn out, so it's had an easy life so far. And that gives us confidence that we can put a 10-year warranty on this piano, like we would anything we sell. 10-year warranty, all parts and labor, and 100% lifetime trade of guarantee. Please make sure to have it in tune twice a year, of course, by a technician, and keep it away from extremes of humidity. If you do that, you can guarantee yourself many decades of musical enjoyment out of this piano, and you won't see a reason, I don't think, to trade this piano in unless you want to, and unless you want a bigger piano one day. And you would be welcome to return to our store at any point in the future and trade us in for precisely its instrument sales price. Um, teachers like us for that reason, because they want their students to advance to a, a better piano if possible. Um, and the logical upgrade after this would be a larger Yamaha or maybe Kawhi grand piano. But again, rest assured, you won't, I don't think, feel a need to do that because of anything that might be wrong with the piano. As long as you take good care of it, you can expect this to last a very long time, many decades beyond the warranty period, as long as you uh, you can enjoy it, play it as much as you want. Uh, a technician will be able to service it easily um, since they're so easy to service. 
and Yamaha has a workhorse. It's really meant to be played a lot. They're designed with that in mind, and that's why they're also popular with piano teachers and also in schools. So um, we hope that you can stop by and see this for yourself. Wonderful little piano. If you can't make it, you can always give us a phone call or send us an email, but we do hope to see you if you can.